everyone, this is Randy and welcome back to a brand new how-to video. In this how-to video, I'm going to show you how to create your own insert for your Eda bag. Now to start off this Eda bag insert how-to video, I'm going to be showing you guys the products that I used. The first item that you need to create your own Eda bag insert is a foam board. And as you can see in this clip, I'm showing you guys the details of the foam board that I'm using for this how-to video. A pair of scissors, a glue gun, some extra glue sticks for your glue gun, some measuring tape, a writing utensil of choice, any fabric of choice. For this project, I'm going to be using at least a yard of fabric, and also I purchased fabric squares, your Eda bag, and lastly but not least, the items that you are going to be placing onto your Eda bag insert. For my Eda bag insert, I'm going to be placing pins on it. Now that I showed you all of the tools and accessories that I used to start this project, let's begin. First, place your Eda bag on the foam board and use your measuring stick to measure around the Eda bag. With your measuring stick, take your writing utensil of choice to trace around the Eda bag. Once you're done tracing around your Eda bag, take your scissors and start cutting the foam board. insert is too big to place inside your Eda bag, take your Eda bag once again and trace it around the foam insert. Make sure that you try to get your foam insert inside your bag as best as possible. It took a while for me to cut the foam board to the desired length that I wanted it to be in order for the foam board to fit inside my Eda bag.
have finished cutting your foam board to the desired length, place your foam board around your fabric of choice and measure it around your Eda bag insert. You will then cut your fabric to your desired length. Next, grab your glue gun and glue the ends of your fabric all around the Eda bag insert. bag insert, it is time for the fun part, and that is decorating your Eda bag insert. Make sure to arrange your items in the same area of your Eda bag's transparent pocket area. And voila, your Eda bag foam board insert is completed. And here is the end of my how to create your own Eda bag foam board insert video. I hope that this video was helpful and I really had a fun time filming and creating this video and also my Eda bag foam board insert. And I hope that you guys have a fun time making your own insert for your Eda bag as well. And as always, this has been Randy. I will see and talk to you guys in the next video. And as always, take care.